Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortewada. In this video, we will learn about the services in Angular. And from here, we'll completely concentrate on services and what are the different ways we can use these services and where exactly these services fit for us. So let me show you some features of these services. So coming to the features of the services, these are the features of Angular services. Mainly, services are used for reusability, data sharing, separation concern, dependency injection, state management, and API communication. So I'll explain you each and every stuff in detail with an example in this complete Angular services series. So coming to the reusability, whenever you want to reuse some set of logic, then you can put all of these logics into a service and you can use wherever you want. And it depends on the registration of this service where exactly you are providing them. And coming to the data sharing, for example, you have two different components and if you want to share data between them and they don't have any parent child relation, then also you can share the data. And also these services helps us to manage a data sharing between the sibling components. So we already saw like how the sibling component communication happens in Angular. In my sibling communication video, I'll provide the link in the description. You can watch that. So that problem we can avoid by using this data sharing logics in our Angular services. And also we can store some set of data and that comes under the state management. That means whenever you want to store some data, whenever you are moving from one page to another page and you want to utilize that data in the another page, then also you can use this Angular services. And coming to the separation concern, actually speaking, the services are mainly used to handle our logical part. So whenever you want to handle a logical part and you want to separate from your UI logic, then this services helps us and that is nothing but your separation concern. Coming to dependency injection. Dependency injection in the sense, Angular services are created with a single as a singleton service and this singleton service will be used and injected in our component without creating a new instance for that services. And also it helps us to add all the dependencies for that service in the background. So you no need to add them explicitly. Instead, whatever the dependencies which are required for that service that will be taken care by Angular. That is called as dependency injection. And I already explained to you about the state management. If you want to store some set of data and if you want to get and update them at any point of time, then you can use state management. And also the services helps us to write our HTTP calls or API calls in a particular service and you can reuse them because in a particular application, we cannot restrict an API call for a particular component or a page. Why? Because they are the services which can be used anywhere in our application. For example, getting the user details from an API. This getting the user details can be used in our profile, in our checkout process, in our address management system, everywhere. That means if you are using an application like e-commerce application, you are using n number of times this service. So such type of logics should be reused. We cannot write n number of times the same logic or the repeated logic. So that's why it is also used for API communication along with reusability. So that's how it provides lot of features for our application. And coming to the creation of this Angular services, it is very easy as Angular provided a CLI commands. So whenever you want to use to create a Angular service, then you can create by using ng generate service and the service name and what are the options it provided for us. And if you want to remove the test file for that services, how we can do that. And if you want to add a spec file for that services, how we can do that. We can create all of this types by using Angular CLI commands. So we can use command line interface for this. And how you can define the Angular service that we will see with an example and we'll try to create a particular service now. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. How to create a service and for your information, some of my subscribers asked me to use a black theme, especially this video or upcoming videos I'll be doing in the black theme. 
so that the people who are very flexible and used to be in black theme they can be understanding in a better fashion but please comment in the session if you face any problem with the black theme i can update that to white theme in the upcoming videos so now we have a angular 16 application and i'll focus on the modular approach now and in the future we will remove this modular approach and we will use the services whenever we want to use inside a standalone application so that i'll explain in the future videos for now i'm using a modular approach now first thing we need to know how to create a service so the creation of service is very very easy by using angular cli command that is nothing but so let me go to the terminal and use ng angular generate g for generate and i want to create a service so s for service and then we can give a name for that service for example i am giving something like intro service or just you can give intro so that the service keyword will be appended to this intro and i can use like this hit enter now it created two files for us one is service spec and it created a service file and it doesn't update any of our module why so i'll explain you why this services does not use or update the modules and when we have to update that modules i'll explain in detail but in this video we will only focus on creation of these services and what are the different options we have now we can create a service without creating a spec file something like ng generate service and the service name is intro and let me give something like no spec something like this so intro no spec that means i don't want to create a spec file for us and i can use hyphen hyphen skip hyphen tests file and hit enter so now it created a service without a spec file that means if you don't want to use a spec file then you can use this option like hyphen hyphen skip hyphen tests and also there are many options let me show you ng generate service and let me use a service name with help let me hit enter now you can see there are many things which we have like interactive dry run defaults force flat project skip test we use the skip test and i'll explain you what are the different options we can use and which are very important for us the important thing is skip test and dry run and coming to this project whenever you want to use two or more angular projects in the same folder structure then you can use hyphen hyphen project but mostly we will not use that and we have something like force if you are not able to create or if you want to override the existing files then you can use hyphen hyphen force so that's how we can use our options for creating a service so we can also create a service with full labels something like ng g for generate you can use generate keyword and then i can use something like service keyword and then we can give a name for this so let me use something like no shortcut this is my service and i can use hyphen hyphen skip hyphen tests we have used this but before creating them i want to use a dry run dry run is nothing but whenever you are using that option it will not originally create your files instead it will show you where exactly the changes or the creation happens let me hit this now you can see you got a no shortcut service it will be creating inside our src slash app and you can see a note over here the hyphen hyphen dry run option means no changes were made if you see here this doesn't have this no shortcut file in my changes so let me go back and see here now how this service looks like and how to inject this service in our application we will see that in my upcoming video stay tuned for angular services series you will enjoy this series and you will get a complete knowledge of using services in angular stay tuned hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you